and a young, hip, new late-night talk show host gives WUTR-TV and Utica their due. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Cavett! We also have a tribute to Utica, New York, tonight, because they just picked up the show. <laughs> yeah, aren't you lucky you got tickets tonight? <laughs> it's quite a big moment for us. Last week, a new station uh, joined the list of those carrying our show. It's WUTR-TV in Utica, New York. And adding a new station is no small thing in the life of a television show. It doesn't happen every day. Uh, it certainly doesn't happen to us every day. And with gratitude and compassion, we return uh, the favor in our small way by honoring the sheer courage of the citizens of Utica, New York. Uh, <laughs> For this, we have spared no expense. Uh, actually, we have spared a few expenses, but not a lot of them. And never mind about that. On with the tribute to Utica, New York. And here is Fred Foy. A tribute to Utica for picking up the Dick Cavett Show in time of stress, strain, and depletion of the dollar. The general manager of WUTR, Utica, New York, Mr. John Crawford. And for just being a part of wonderful Utica, Utica's mayor, the Honorable Dominic Asaro. Nice to see you, gentlemen. Thank this you. This is really a, really a, I don't want you to think we actually treat this too lightly. And we do have a tribute to Utica, and we worked a lot, very hard on this, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Mr. Rosengarden, would you begin the tribute? A jewel in the navel of New York State. <laughs> Utica, friendly, progressive, easy to spell. Because of its convenient central location, tourists traveling on the thruway will find Utica an ideal rest stop. Formerly called the village of Fort Schuyler and other names. <laughs> Utica in 1950 had a population of 101,000. By 1967, the population had grown to 97,000. <laughs> Visitors will find interest in the fact that Utica is only 253 miles from Buffalo, New York, home of the Buffalo Museum of Science. But that isn't Utica's only claim to fame. Utica can be proud of such attractions as the Universal Waste Paper and Metal Company, Roscoe Conkling Park, and Joe Saraceno, a former drummer with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Utica leads the way in sports, too. Starting on St. Patrick's Day, Utica will host the sports highlight of the year, the World's Curling Championship. Utica was the first American city selected for this honor by a process of elimination. <laughs> there are, we discovered, three general hospitals in Utica. That is, in the greater Utica area, with a bed capacity of 676, making the city an ideal place to live, even if you're sick. Our salute to Utica would not be complete without mentioning Utica's favorite son, Annette Funicello. <laughs> Annette was born and raised in Utica, and because of this, Utica is known as the birthplace of the star. 